One of my favourite destinations in the world so far has been Brazil. We had a fantastic time when we travelled there with our show. The people were just wonderful, very warm, uh, with a great sense of humour, which made them a little bit like the Irish. But the food was fantastic and the nightlife was brilliant, great music and a sense of free spirit all around. It was brilliant. My favourite food would be Italian food. So when I went to Florence, I was in my element. I absolutely loved it. I stuffed my face with pasta and lovely red wine. So definitely Italy for me. If there was one place I could visit on holiday, which I still haven't got to yet, it's definitely Hawaii. Somewhere I've always wanted to go and I really hope to get there one day. Um, it's got sun, sand, and it seems to be very beautiful. So I hope I get to get there one day and see it for myself. One time in Germany where I was trying to get to rehearsals and was in a hurry, so I ran into McDonald's to grab a quick cheeseburger because I was hungry. I tried to explain to the woman who didn't have any English that I wanted a cheeseburger proved to be quite difficult. So I pointed at number six on the menu, which was a cheeseburger and I ended up with six cheeseburgers. <laughs> so that was one experience where things got lost in translation. Favourite style of holiday is definitely anything with a beach and a sun lounger, with the sun shining and a cocktail. Because we're so busy, we're always travelling around and when it comes to holidays, I like to just pretty much do nothing and get a tan. Well, my hometown is Dublin, and obviously I'm going to be a bit biased, but it's probably one of my favourite places. Being away so much, coming home is always very special, and I can see why people love to come to Ireland. It's got, you know, a lot of culture and history, and great food, um, and also it's the best place on the planet to get a pint of Guinness. Favourite city in Australia was definitely Sydney because it had a really good mix of city life and beach life and I found everyone to be very optimistic and healthy and everyone had a really nice outlook on life and um, we stayed on Darling Harbour and it was beautiful to wake up every morning to the sun shining on the water. If I had one weekend to live, I would choose to spend it for sure at home in Dublin with my family.